Guys, I got a special guest. I'm here at NEV 2016 with Colin from 3DR. Colin, hey, thanks for yeah. taking a moment to, to talk to us. So obviously there's a lot of amazing things that are going on right now. And you know, the Phantom 4 has come out and it's got obstacle avoidance. And I'm curious as how how the solo, what you've got to sort of answer that. Sure, sure. So uh, good question. First of all, Phantom 4 is awesome. I've, we've got a couple of them. I, I fly it around. It's, it's really an amazing piece of equipment. Um, you know, I, I think that we're still in a place where there's definitely a, a clear difference between a Phantom and a Solo in that a couple things. So Solo is, I, I'm not going to say it's better for everyone. I think it's, it's the right choice for the people that want to use a drone to go out and get work done and create content and get shots. That's really what we built Solo around. Um, and so the couple things for Solo is that, you know, one, it's a platform where you can use your GoPro on it right now. As you see, we just released this camera with Sony for really high-end aerial imagery or uh, you know, photo mosaics and, and models. We've got this FLIR integration over here if you want thermal imagery. Um, we've got the Kodak 360 cam so you can get full VR with it. So it's, it's all about, with Solo, it's all about option to be able to use a tether system to fly indefinitely, right? How long of a tether can you have? Well, they limit it at 150 feet because over 150 feet, then you're a structure and you need a special type of lighting for aircraft. But under 150 feet and tethered, you pretty much have carte blanche. So it's a 150 foot tether. So tell me a little bit about this new Sony camera. So it's the uh, RC-10C, uh, which is a, um, a 20 megapixel APS-C size sensor E-mount lens, and it's fully integrated into Sony's onboard computers. So we have a new product called SightScan that is a, uh, a mobile app that integrates with Autodesk. So we partner with Autodesk. You basically say the area you want to scan, and it'll do a, a photo mosaic in the background. All You don't, you don't have to do anything. Um, it'll make a model using recap. You can do inspect mode. So it's all, you, you have the controller, but you can do the entire flight just using the tablet. What kind of camera controls are available from the tablet on the ground for the Sony camera? It's everything. but. It's actually all happening autonomously. So when it's making this, when it's doing the model, we're actually monitoring the histogram, and we're changing ISO, shutter speed, f-stop, in real time, so that we even out the exposure of the whole area that you're scanning. So you have f-stop control from the ground. Yes. But, but so this is effectively like the answer to the X5 as well. No, it's more of a still camera. So it, it's made, it, it's made specifically for for doing high resolution maps and models, and so. It's not really for flying around and like exposing a certain shot and taking pictures. It's to say, I need a photo mosaic done of this farm or this construction site, or I need a model of this building, right? So the solo is really more for the professional that's looking to actually capture content, not rely so much on the obstacle avoidance to help like as they're learning. It's more of a real tool. Yeah, so I think that's a good point, is that a lot of the people that fly solo and they're doing multi-point cable cams or orbits and you know, kind of capturing this content. You know, we do a lot of tools in the app to see the, the path of the, that the copter's going on. You know, I think that people crash often with copters when they're trying to get a dynamic shot manually. With Solo, you don't have to manually get a dynamic shot. All you're doing is setting up shots. So you could fly Solo essentially tail in at all times. You could go tail in, and just go over to there, then rotate, tilt, set your keyframe, hit a button, then go back to tail end, fly over there, up there, set your next keyframe, and then hit a button. And then when you hit play, then Solo's flying sideways because the computer's doing it for you. And you can check your lines, you can look on the map and see where it's gonna fly. So, so with Solo, you're more, the only time you're flying is just to set up the shot. I got a question for you. When you're, when you're setting up that shot, Let's say the director decides that he wants to make a modification to one of the points along the way. Can that be done without redoing the whole thing? So right now you can't edit individual points, but that's coming. Yeah, so you'll be able to edit individual keyframes. Well, it looks like Solo is really a serious tool. I really appreciate the time. Thank you so much, Colin. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Take Thank care. You.